As efforts to vaccinate against the coronavirus continue around the world, some elite athletes are refusing to do so, putting not only their careers in jeopardy, but the safety of fans and other players. The Australian Open gets underway without the defending champ Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic out. His visa had been canceled because he misled authorities about his vaccination status. Novak Djokovic is the number one player in the world. He holds many records in men's tennis. So Djokovic chose not to get vaccinated, and he never publicly explained his reason. Like many athletes, Novak Djokovic is known for his extreme commitment to his sport and the length he's willing to go to achieve an edge. Their entire athletic career is based on being exceptional. The extreme particular nature of their diets, their sleep patterns, and Djokovic is one of these extreme characters. They said yoga wasn't for tennis players and neither was your diet. He treats his body like a temple, so he's just not the type of person who's going to believe, oh, and now you need to inject this substance in your body. So I think athletes are an interesting and distinctive group in this sense. And that's partly because, on the one hand, they're a group whose bodies are constantly the subject of medical authority and intervention. We're doing our very best to catch the cheats, and that's our role here at the ITA. Sports science advice, uh, media representation. You might think that that might lead to being more amenable to something like vaccination, because, you know, it might not be seen as being that different as, a, as an activity from, say, having a painkiller injection. But on the other hand, we can also see how the concern about the source of your livelihood as, as well as other considerations, might lead to uh, a heightened sensibility towards bodily control. At the start of the pandemic, Djokovic said he wouldn't want to be forced by someone to take a vaccine. Of course, there are plenty of athletes who don't subscribe to this logic and have received the vaccine, all the while continuing to play sports at the highest levels. What we know about athletes, at least in several elite sport leagues, is that the uptake of, of vaccination rates is actually high relative to the general population, um, or at least relative to their comparable age groups in the general population. In fact, nearly 95% of NFL players and over 90% of NBA players are vaccinated. And actually during the US Open, only 50% of their playing group was vaccinated, and today it's more than 97%. But there are a few athletes who cite similar reasons as Djokovic for remaining unvaccinated. Kyrie Irving, a seven-time All-Star basketball player for the Brooklyn Nets, said his refusal was a matter of personal freedom. In the NFL, Aaron Rodgers to Green Bay Packers starting quarterback said he believed strongly in bodily autonomy. Cole Beasley of the Buffalo Bills and Irish soccer player Callum Robinson also called it a personal choice that it's difficult to disagree with because it fits with wider beliefs about democracy and about liberal societies that we shouldn't be impinging on the individual choice, particularly when it comes to the borders of one's own body. That said, I think a lot of his supporters, a lot of his fans, much of Serbia, sees him as a crusader, you know, a pioneer, less in terms of the vaccine, but for individual liberty for being true to himself. Djokovic was ultimately prevented from participating in the Australian Open, and other athletes continued to face consequences. Uh, you know, I just really empathized, and, and, I, and I understood their, uh, their choice to, to say, if you're not going to be vaccinated, fully vaccinated, then, you know, you can't be a full participant. As a sociologist, I would say we need richer and deeper accounts of the social groups that we're interested in and their relationship to vaccines, how it is that scientific knowledge about vaccines competes with the knowledge that they already have about the substances that they do and don't take into their bodies, and how being vaccinated sits and is talked about in their social and cultural worlds, you know, that, that we know to often be quite insular when it comes to, to being an elite athlete.